Hi, Pisces. I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with your reading for what you need to know about June. All right, first card out is Nine of Cups. Stuck on something, stuck on someone. And also maybe where this is going to. So I'm seeing Nine of Cups, I'm seeing the Devil, I'm seeing Three of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay. There can be some fear about what's happening in the future. When I see Nine of Cups and I see the Devil, immediately what I what comes to mind is wanting something or putting putting like a lot of weight on something that you could be telling yourself like I really think this is going to do it for me. I really think this is going to be the thing to make me happy, but it can be coming from a material sense and it can be something that there's there's a part of you that may be saying like this is really going to be the answer that may not always be the case so i see this as being an encouragement to really look into something and ask yourself like do i definitely actually really want that is that something that i wanted a long time ago that doesn't really resonate with me where i am now like for what it is now and for where i am now is that something that's really going to be connected like with my true state of happiness with a true sense of fulfillment with a true internal resonance for me because the devil can be something that it's it's like really this seductive energy where it's like you want me you want me you want me but then you get to the point where you have that thing and you're like i really thought this was going to be the answer i don't necessarily feel like that now where it may be a really short-term answer but it's not sort of satisfying that deeper thing that you're looking for i'm seeing this has to do with future related stuff so this can be something that you want where you're like like six months down the line or like a month down the line i really think that i want this thing but there may be like more of a sense of attachment to the idea of what it's gonna do for you rather than what it's actually going to do for you. So I see this, this isn't just like taking my word for it, this is like actually checking in with yourself and being like, is that so or is this really gonna be like what I'm looking for and what I need? Having the devil here, having that be related to Capricorn can be anything materially which also falling under that can be about like reputation, it can be about status, it can be about anything that externally, because I see Capricorn, like the MC, the 10th house is being very much connected with like external things. Checking in and asking yourself if what that is that you're looking for to resonate within you, to connect with, if this is really gonna be the answer for you. There can also be, in June, fear about the future. Because I'm seeing Three of Wands and I'm seeing Nine of Swords. And this Nine of Swords looks like it's looking at the Three of Wands. Nine of Swords is like all the stuff that you're worrying about, all the stuff that you're stressing. And I feel like it's looking over here at Three of Wands, which is connected with your future. It's connected with where you're going. It's connected with what's happening. And this can also be like the fear of the changes that are associated with like, what if I don't like those changes? What if I don't like where things are going? Like I'm worried about that, what's gonna be happening, like those types of things. But I'm also seeing the devil here too, which feels like it's having you maybe worry about things that you don't need to be worried about. Having you think that you need certain things that you don't actually need. But it's like, this is a deep psychological type of thing here where this thing can be telling you I'm definitely the answer that you're seeking like you're definitely gonna want this you're definitely gonna need this but then in checking in you can be like is this really the be-all end-all is that really the answer for me is that really the truth for me and it can definitely be coming from a place of attachment with the devil but the thing too with the devil is that it swears that that's going to be the answer for you and then you obtain that thing and then you're like scratching your head wondering 
why it still like doesn't feel complete like why there's still that little sense of emptiness and it's because it's not like necessarily a, a true resonance it can be something that's more synthetic you could feel I am seeing you definitely like on the hunt and it feels like on the grind to like doing things that are motivated by like that deeper sense of connection within you because having nine of cups and having king of wands here shows you in a position where you're like I'm ready to get things done I'm ready to achieve what I want to achieve to sort of set my sights on on my dreams and nine of cups can also be associated with long-term goals i see nine of cups as it's um represented by jupiter in pisces the nine of cups so when you think about pisces it's like dreams and fantasies and what you want to experience and what's really going to have internal resonance for you what you feel spiritually connected to even and Jupiter is like the expansion of that, the experience of that, what you learn from getting an opportunity to connect with these things that you think that you want, that you want to experience on a deep internal level, deep internal satisfaction. But I also see Nine of Cups as being connected with the 11th house as well, which this can be like long-term goals and dreams. Like, like I've always told myself that I wanted this thing. Like, do I still really want to go after that? But it feels like more of a checking in than anything. Like asking yourself, like, what do you really want versus what may be telling you that you want it? But when you check in, you're like, I don't actually think that, the, that that's going to be the answer for me. Because I think this also comes down to like what you really, what you really care about. And it's, it's not what you cared about last year. This is like right now, what do you really care about? Where are you with that? The devil and the the devil and the three of wands can also be like obsession with making progress in a certain way where there can be then like a lack of flexibility with how things are too so it can be like it has to be like this it has to be like this so you think about that earth energy of being like this is the way forward but again like that may not necessarily be the only way it's not saying that's not one of the ways because it definitely is but it may not be the only way it may not be the only answer for you choices plans and what's motivating the plans that you're making too i feel like something has a hold on you you could be feeling that like something is influencing you but it's an attachment to something when I say an attachment to something, I don't mean you caring about something. I mean something that is influencing your energy in a way that may slide a little bit off the scale of being totally authentic to you from a heart space, from a spiritual space, from a higher self type of space. Anxiety about plans. I'm also seeing you be here in the driver's seat, like needing to figure out which steps you're going to take next. And you again, like I'm seeing that like anxiety about the future, worried about the future, what's going to be happening, where are things going, like that type of thing. For June, I wonder if there's going to be a sense of resolution. There can also be fear about how certain relationships are changing too, or what's going to be happening with that as well. Like you want to make certain plans to have things go in a particular direction. It looks like things are progressing. I'm seeing also too, it looks like you're going to be moving forward with someone, but there can be some, some like preoccupation that you're having about where things are going. This can also be two different things that are going on. There can be like a concern about the future. Also too, to have Capricorn, this can be a work thing. It can be a public reputation thing. It can be a role type of thing. It can be stuff that has to do with more of your like external life that you have going on, like how you're being perceived, how you're showing up like out in the world. It can be associated with those types of things. Having Nine of Cups and having the lovers feels like there is like a deep wish, a deep 
hope, a deep desire to connect with someone. So you can be like really wanting to team up with someone, really wanting to work together with them, really wanting to go somewhere together. It feels like this is up to you how you take action because I'm seeing you actually be the king of wands here. So this means that when there are things that you want right now, feels like for the cycle of June, you're in charge of those things. So if you want things to happen, you be the one to make them happen. But I'm seeing again this nine of swords like looking at you. So you can feel like there's a pressure where you're like, wow, all of this responsibility is weighing on me. All of this pressure is weighing on me. Like I have to be the one to, excuse me, I have to be the one to do these certain things. And that can just like psychologically be getting to you a bit. So I'm seeing it kind of be like you're pushed on stage within this and like everyone's watching you and you're like, maybe freeze for a second. Like I'm really having to get over a big fear here by like being up there and doing my thing. But I'm seeing too that it feels like what you want is going to overpower that fear because this feels like Nine of Cups versus Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords can be like all the stuff that you're worried about and all the reasons you have for sort of freezing and not taking action. But then it feels like the Nine of Cups, which is like what you really want in the heart space, is going to override that of like, and not even in a way where you're like, I'm not scared. It's in a way where you can be like, I'm feeling frozen right now, or this is really terrifying right now. And also like, I want this thing. And so I'm going to do it like that. And I'm just going to have to like, let things be what they're going to be. Because I'm seeing this has to do with like, where things are going and the future and what it's going to pan out as. But there can be this part of you that's like so concentrated on what's happening 10 steps ahead that you're not looking at what's right in front of you. So this feels like being present is going to be one of the biggest, most important things for you during June. Like what do you want in every moment? Like what's guiding you in each moment? Not what was guiding you or what will be guiding you. This feels like being as present as possible to what's going on right now in the moment. And then if you're working from that space, being able to be like, okay, I can think about the future now or the past in a way that's going to benefit me presently, but always like bringing it back into the present moment. And also too, it feels, yeah, no, I'm actually getting this like reinforced again and again. You can even be like, well, we need to plan for this, but I'm seeing like devil and two of wands can be and also having devil next to three of wands, it's like so obsessed about like plans and what's going to be happening and what that is going to look like. But, but the obsession now creating an energy where because you're so focused on it, I'm seeing like a lot of fear be around it. So this isn't something where you're like, wow, I feel so happy and it's really helping motivate me in the present moment. It's like, it's making you freeze in the present moment. So it feels like bringing things back into a place where you're centering yourself is going to help you act in the moment. Because if you're like pushed on stage and you're standing there freezing and you're like dissociating into what's going to be happening 10 days from now, it's not going to allow you to do what you need to do in that moment. And then that stuff's not even going to matter anyway. So it feels again like pulling yourself back into the present moment because again, I'm seeing a lot of fears that are associated fears, worries, concerns, thoughts even, because it can just be stuff that maybe you're like, I don't have an emotion like attached to it necessarily, but it's something that I keep focusing on it so much that it's not allowing me to be present. And that's still going to be a problem for you because it's not allowing you to be there, to be in the moment. So it feels like June is a lot about like being in the moment. And even though there can be a lot of pressures around you being like, what's your plan? What's gonna be happening? How are things going? It feels like leaning on support is gonna be important to you, especially I'm seeing like one particular relationship that may be like really supportive for you at this time. Somebody that you're working through life with. and to allow yourself to ride this wave and to really touch base with your heart space and act on that in the present moment and let that be a guiding force for you. And it feels like also too, like having what motivates you be an internal motivation rather than an external motivation. 
All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.